Alright guys, my name is Meta Goblin, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 coolest looking pets in Classic World of Warcraft. So if you think about it guys, when most hunters get to level 60, they're just going to tame the highest level pet available to them to save the most, most amount of time and just go for the best pet that they can get without really looking into the other unique appearances out there. So if you want to stand out from the other hunters in your raid and, you know, by extent stand out on your server, having a core cool pet appearance that really stands out is, well, it's going to make it stand out. So that's what we're going to be counting down in this video. If you think about it, guys, you may have to level up a very low level pet, but, you know, just put a box set on and get, get it done because it is going to be worth it because you're just going to look cool. Right? Nothing better than looking cool. You don't have transmog in Classic World of Warcraft, so all you can really really can do is have a cool looking pet. So just before we jump in guys, please do me give me a quick follow on Twitch, as when the game comes out we'll be streaming a lot on Twitch. I'll also be streaming a bit of Lightbringer as well, Northdale, uh, very soon. And and I'll actually be streaming a little bit of Wrath of the Lich King raiding tonight, and hopefully in the future as well. But anyway, let's get on with the countdown. So the first pet I have for you is called Humar the Pride Lord, right? Which is a rare mob in the Barrens. This is a totally unique appearance, guys. There isn't an, any other black lion in the game other than this single rare mob, right? So it's just totally one of a kind, which... You know, it's pretty cool. There's also white lions in the barrens as well, which um, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it on the screen. You can also get the white lion as well, but I personally just thought that the white lion looked a bit cooler. For number two, we have the white scorpid. You've got a number of options, basically, for the white scorpid. You can get it quite early in the Thousand Needles from the Vile Sting mob. That's probably the first place you're going to see it. You've also got Clack the Reaver, which is rare in the Blasted Lands, and you've also got the Stone Lash Scorpid and the Stone Lash Flayer in Silithus, which are a bit more high level, so you can probably save a bit of time, you won't have to level it up. Um, yeah, I just think that this appearance of this one, it's very metallic and silver, almost looks like a robotic scorpion, so that's why I put it on the list. For number three, we have a quick one, which is the Grey Raptor. Now, the Grey Raptor is pretty easy to obtain. Apparently, they're walking around the Wailing Caverns, but the reason why I put it on this list is because, is because I just don't remember ever seeing this this colour variation of the Raptor, which, and it looks pretty cool. You know, it's a black kind of grey colour. You have also you can also get it from Tak the Leaper, which is a an elite quest in the Barrens, but it might be a bit more difficult to get that because people will actually be killing that mob. So it's probably better to just go get it from the Wailing Caverns. But yeah, I just thought it was one just stood out stood out more than the others. For number four we have the striped white cat which is probably one that everyone is going to recognize because the first white cat that you see in the game is King Bangalash, right? Which is the end boss for the Strangle Fauna Slayer quests. So again it might be actually quite difficult to get this mob in the first place to actually tame him especially as he's surrounded by other tigers as well so it might be a bit more bit quite difficult. But yeah it's one of the, it's one of the most unique looking cats in the game. There are Frost Sabres in Winter Spring, about level 56 to 57, which are also obtainable. For number 5, we have the White Bat. You can actually obtain this pet quite early from Resan the Needler, which is a rare in the Trisful Glades, if you, you know, really want to go for it. If not, you can just get it from the Blind Hunter, which is an elite mob in RFK. I just thought this bat looks extra evil because it's like an albino, al oh, is it I albino? Albino, I don't know how that's pronounced, but it's like an albino bat which just looks terrifying. For number six, we have the Lavender Sabre Cat variation. It's pretty easy to obtain this. In fact, there's only one mob in the game that has it, and that's the Frost Sabre Pride Watcher in the northwestern winter spring. We've already talked about this pet in the game before. Um, totally unique looking colour. That, uh, you know, that kind of light purple mixed with white. It definitely really is quite distinctive. For number seven, we have the White Turtle. So you're probably noticing a common theme with a cool, well, everything on this list. And a lot of the animals are albino, right? Which, obviously an albino animal is a rare animal in itself. So, there are, it's pretty cool how in World of Warcraft there are albino beasts and animals in the game. And obviously they stand out more than the others. So for the albino turtle, we have the sparkle shell tortoise in a thousand needles. Um, and other variations and other level ranges. And you also have a coral shell tortoise in Ashara, which is a little bit more higher level, about 53 to 54. Um, sorry, that's the coral shell lurker. So you've got coral shell lurker and tortoise in the Ashara zone. Next item on this list is very similar to the lavender variation of the saber cap, because we have the aqua 
Saber Cat instead. So there's two options for this pet. Basically it's much easier for the Horde because you've got a quest mob which you can spawn and it's a guaranteed chance for you to just get it and tame it. But for your line it's a little bit more difficult. You have to go for a level 57 rare called Rakshiri um, or Raksharai or something like that. And that's um, another rare in Winter Spring. And I'll show you where that the spawn location is on the screen. So for a knife option we have a pink Toll Strider which is a Basically, a totally unique appearance to a rare called Mazranke or Mazranche. Don't know how to pronounce all these words. And a lot. This has probably been talked about in other videos as well. Uh, I have come across it before. It's just a totally pink flamingo pet in the game. So you know, it's a level nine rare from Mulgo. So you get it quite early on. You'll have to level it for quite a while, unless you want to level with a pink. Flamingo pet for all the way from level 1, you know, it, uh, well 10, it's up to you. And the last one on this list is the Crystal Spider variation, right? There's actually two variations of spiders, you kind of got the fat spiders and the thin spiders, and this is one of the thin spider ones, right? You can get this appearance from the glass web spider, in about level 43 to 45 in the Searing Gorge, or the Spire Spider Wing in Blackrock Spire Dungeon. So, the reason why I've picked this one is because I didn't actually notice that this if you look really closely at the pet, it is actually like a crystal diamond kind of texture, not just, it's not just a colour difference, right? Which is, I just noticed, I just thought this spider was a blue spider, right? Whenever I saw it in game. But if you look really closely and you zoom in, it's like an actual crystal. So that's why it gets a, you know, number one or well, number ten on this list. This pet isn't just a different colour, it's a totally different texture as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought it was a very sci-fi kind of Doctor Who kind of thing. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end the video, guys. Hope you liked all these cool-looking pet appearances. Let me know if you um, want more Hunter, Hunter Pet videos. Got loads of ideas for Hunter Pet videos, so look forward to that coming soon. My name is Goblin, and until my next video, ciao.